Chinese manufacturer BMAX has released a 10.4-inch size Android tablet, the BMAX MaxPad i11. This product is a high-performance Android tablet in the low price range and has a system configuration that can be described as trendy for Chinese tabs these days. I think it will be a competitor to the currently popular Teclist M40 T40 series and Aldeq Biplay 40 series. As I mentioned at the beginning of this article, that it's all the rage with Chinese tabs these days, it is almost on par with Teclist M40 T40 series and Aldeq Biplay 40 series when it comes to CPU, RAM and storage capacity. In particular, it has the same CPU RAM storage display specifications as the Aldeq Biplay 40. Well, it's a good enough to play up to Yumamusum kind of performance. The camera pixels are a notch higher than those of Teclist and Aldecube. It has 13 MP on the outside, rival models have 8 MP. However, in our experience, tablet cameras are often lower in quality than the number of pixels displayed on the screen. Also, most products don't put much effort into their camera apps, or rather, don't allow for fine adjustments, so it's best to assume that you can't expect much in the way of image quality. Although the exact size of the Teclas T40 Plus is not disclosed, I can say that the M40 is a bit thicker and heavier than the Iplay 40, while the MaxPad i11 is just a bit smaller, thinner and lighter than the Iplay 40. Incidentally, the size of the Iplay 40 is very impressive for a low-end Android tablet, so I think it's safe to say that the MaxPad i11 is equally impressive. It's especially nice that it's so light. The image above is of the MaxPad i11, and the image below is of the actual Aldecube Iplay 40. They have the same display size and differ only by less than 2 mm in height and width, so they should look almost identical. The back of the device is made of aluminum alloy and looks quite high quality. You can also see the technical certification mark and the certification number, but I think this image is CG, so I don't know if it is really certified. This is a development view. This shows that the chassis seems to be slightly edgy, a bit angular. I guess it's similar to the recent Chewy products, Hippid Plus and Hippid Pro. Also, there are two speaker grills on the top and bottom sides, but the manufacturer's description says two speakers, so I guess either the top or bottom side is a dummy.